let us try to understand what are intermolecular forces okay and it has to do with that english word that we already know so what is an international match between two nations, right? Okay, interstate is between two states. What is intra? What is intra? Within that. Okay? Okay, so you just hold that definition in mind. Let us come to the intermolecular forces. Inter has the same meaning as it is in international. Inter is between two things, right? So inter is used for for between two things okay and intra stands for within something right within something is it not so so just hold this in your mind intermolecular forces fine so what happens maybe there is a molecule here okay and there is a I, i'm drawing the 3d representation of a molecule okay so there is a molecule here and these two molecules they attract each other the dotted one <coughs> this this may be say HCl or something, okay? No, you, you normally tend to draw say water like this, no? This is called a 3D model of, model, model of the atom, right? There's a line diagram, there's a 3D model and space filling model. This is called a space filling model. This is called space filling model. <coughs> So, so maybe these two molecules attract or maybe repel each other with some force. Correct. Now, when you are accounting for the intermolecular forces, the intramolecular forces like the bonds. So what is a bond? Bond is within a molecule. Correct. Bond is within a molecule. This is between two molecules and it is not a bond. Those molecules are independently moving and maybe due to certain factors that we will discuss in detail as we go ahead, they will start attracting each other. You get the point? They will start attracting each other and, and that force is the intermolecular forces. Correct? So currently we are focused on the intermolecular forces and not on the intramolecular forces. Hope we understand that. Okay. So, so, so we say that the intermolecular forces, the intermolecular forces are the forces of attraction or repulsion or repulsion repulsion between 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 the two atoms or molecules that is two independent entities try to understand independent entities okay let us try to understand it very well because that will define how you understand the whole thing there is a hydrogen atom there is another hydrogen atom. If they come together, suddenly what will happen? Due to their attraction, they form an H2 molecule. I am not talking about that attraction. 
that's why i was forced to write two independent entities rather i should highlight it when i say two independent entities i do not mean these h h atom is not independent it immediately forms h2 so i'm not talking about that but yes if there are two helium okay if there are two helium atoms two helium atoms if there are two helium atoms then what happens if there are two helium atoms then then even when they drift closer to each other they do not form a bond only recently uh, uh, he2 bond is formed but that's a very meager sort of bond right so 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 just forget it for me what i'm trying to say they are the same atom okay they are the same atom between two two atoms so it it, it seems to be interatomic okay Still so 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 no it this is intermolecular this is not <clears throat> why because if they drift together finally it is not an independent entity though it looks here to be an independent entity this will actually lead to an h2 molecule but this won't lead to an he2 molecule so the attraction here here is intermolecular but here it is not intermolecular why because this is not an independent entity for a long time while it comes together drifts together finally it attracts and we had seen that that energy diagram you had seen no there was there was no and and, and this we said was the bond length so while they were coming together obviously they were feeling attraction but but that attraction finally led to the formation of a bond so that attraction will not count as an intermolecular force okay so 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 deliberately we'll write that okay the, that that the electrostatic forces that exist between the two oppositely charged ions and the forces that hold the atoms of a molecule together so 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 here let me write what as an extension of this as an extension of this just say this does not include the electrostatic force of attraction between the two oppositely charged ions charged ions okay because what happens if there are two oppositely charged ions they'll normally form a bond ionic bond okay so 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 that or so charged ions or the forces that forces that hold the atoms of a molecule together that is covalent bond why because covalent bond becomes an intramolecular force try to understand because that molecule is complete for example h2o okay covalent bonds fall under the category of fall under the category of under the category of of Covalent bonds fall under the category of 
intramolecular forces correct okay so so this this and only this has to be understood Other, otherwise there is a lot of confusion between why covalent bond should not be included and why intermolecular force is that a and we ultimately do not understand also fine okay so so this thing should be clear before we further go ahead and try to discuss the different categories of intermolecular forces okay now these intermolecular forces could be attractive or repulsive okay so the intermolecular forces or the intermolecular forces are either attractive or repulsive okay the attractive forces are also termed as van der wall forces van der waals force okay he was a dutch scientist and did a lot of pioneering work in in the gas equation that we'll encounter next and he he kind of incorporated the concept of the intermolecular forces between between uh, between a real gas right otherwise that is an ideal gas equation so he he transformed it so that it suits the so that it suits the real gas okay that's why so so they are van der waals forces and they are of mainly three types so they are of mainly three types so they are they are they are dispersion forces dispersion forces also called the london force okay the london force fine then we have then we have dipole dipole forces dipole dipole forces and the dipole induced dipole forces fine see there is also the hydrogen bonding but that happens with hydrogen and some extremely electronegative element with which it is attached and it is a stronger force than others so it is it is studied as a separate force altogether okay so so you can say that in the attractive one so 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 in the attractive one this is a this is another category altogether so so it does not come under the van der waals forces so so attractive has got another okay attractive has got one of the forces as the van der waal forces so attractive has has also two one of them is this and the other is the 
हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड ओके वाई बिकॉज ऑफ टू टू रीजन बिकॉज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज क्वाइट क्वाइट स्ट्रॉगर देन अंड ऑफ ऑल फोर्सेज एंड सेकेंडली दैट इट इज स्पेसिफिक टू वेन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड विद अ इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एलिमेंट राइट सो सो हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग is studied as a separate intermolecular force force from the from the van der waals forces because of two reasons number 1 these are quite stronger than van der waals forces and the second reason is that it occurs when hydrogen is bonded with n electronegative element okay so it concerns hydrogen that to when it is bonded with some electronegative element so so you consider it all together as a as a different force however you should not lose lose the focus that it is still an attractive force and a stronger one than the van der waals force hmm is studied right is studied as a separate this thing okay now now the attractive force between an ion and a dipole is ion dipole force and that is not a van der van der waals force uh, force between an ion and a dipole is called ion dipole force and is not studied under the van der waals force okay now we'll start discussing them one by one fine 